Okay, this is a little one on uh, oiling the direct drive fan motors uh, on blowers for furnaces. I'm going to show you how to do it, where the oilers are, what kind of oil to use, and so on. Now this view you're getting right here, this is probably not the view you're going to get unless you've pulled out the blower. You're going to get the uh, side of it. You can oil them while they're in, but sometimes it's really hard to do, so you may need to pull the blower assembly out in order to oil it. But let's take a look a little closer there on uh, where the oilers are. Okay, we have two caps. They should be in the upper quadrant. One right here and one back in there. So you got to pull each of these caps off and oil inside them. Okay, you need to pull this one cap off. Sometimes these are yellow, sometimes they're black, sometimes they're metal. I'm going to show you a tool here that we use. Okay, that is the infamous zoom spout oiler. Uh, this little spout, you can pull it down like that, and then you can pull it out like that, turn it upside down, squeeze it, and oil will come out a little silly thing if you push hard enough. Okay, uh, these are probably the only ones we use. It says it's supposed to oil everything under the sun. Uh, I guess that's fine. Okay, this is the way I do it. I start putting oil in here until it starts coming out. Once it comes out, I figure it's enough. Put your cap back on. Now I get to do the easy one. Okay, this one back here can be a little tough. Pry it like that. Hopefully you can hold it. You know, I'm not going to beat you up if you drop the thing in the blower housing. I'm sure not going to go pick it up again. Uh, when you put the uh, oil into these things, it goes down there. And there's either felt or there's some kind of plastic stuff. I don't know what it is. It's kind of a fiber stuff. And it just contains the oil. Well, it also filters. So if you do lose the caps, I wouldn't be too worried about it. Because uh, the oil is filtered before it ever gets to the bearing. And at least that's the excuse I'm making. Now this back one's a little bit tougher. Okay, I take this end of this oiler and I bend it over at a 90 like, kind of like that. So I bend it like that. If you can see that. And then I take it back like that. And, and you get it in there, do the same thing you did with the other one until it overflows. And if you can get the cap back on, wonderful. If you can't, that's okay too. Uh, so, fairly simple, not much to it. The blower wheel should move easily like that. Uh, if it moves stiff, you can oil it and it will probably, maybe, start working again. Uh, don't count on it. And the bearings are damaged uh, because these are bushings. And it's going to fail. No two ways about it. You'll be back again if you just oil it up. And guess what? The customer is going to want you to pay for it the second time around. So, uh, if you have stiff bearings and you just need to get them going because you don't have a motor, you can try oiling them. Sometimes you'll get away with it. Sometimes it'll work okay, and you'll get them moving again. But there's too much clearance in the bearings now, uh, or they've uh, scored the shaft, something like that, and the thing's toast. So that's uh, one of the bearings. Remember, there are two of them. There's one here and one back there. There's never just one here. York used to make a furnace that actually made a little piece of tubing that came over here and there were two holes here that you could put it into. That was kind of cool. But most of them are doing just like this. Uh, some of these little caps are aluminum and they're a little harder to get out. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. If there are no caps any place on it, 
it's a sealed bearing. Most of them are sealed bearings anymore. Uh, and before you're finished up here, just go ahead and uh, take a toothbrush, some kind of brush, and brush all those holes. Get all the crap, the lint and stuff like that out of those holes. Uh, so the motor will uh, run cool. Okay, that's it for uh, oiling the uh, direct drive blower motor.